A pool can literally make or break your investment property. It makes your house stand out. Tenants absolutely love it. But the most important part is that having a pool adds tremendous value to your home. But after all these benefits, why is it that I decided to eliminate the pool in my first investment property? We're gonna take all the water out. In today's video, with the help of my mentor, Eric, with 20 years of experience when it comes to real estate investing, I will be sharing with you the exact reasons why I believe it's such a bad idea for a beginner to invest in a property that has an existing pool already. I will be revealing to you how the contractors managed to fill the pool entirely within just two weeks. So let's jump into the video. So dad, you own 15 single family properties, you own two apartment complexes, and you have over 20 years of experience when it comes to real estate investing. Now, can you explain to the viewers and I the reason why you advise me to fill up the pool in my first investment property? So the reason why I advise to fill up the full pool is because as a landlord, you want to minimize or eliminate the risk factors. And what are those risk factors? I don't like to have the fact of having a pool, a body of water, and if the families have kids, which they usually do, then that's too much of a risk for that kid to get injured or killed in the pool. So again, I eliminate that by filling it up. But would you agree that typically people love having pools in their backyard? Do you think this will turn away people to even being interested in our property? I think in this case, with a pool, it could, it could go either way. That's how I look at it with pools. Some people think it could bring up the value. That's if the family wants a pool and they're maybe single or they're a couple without any kids, then yes, it could be a good attraction for if you have a get together or a party. However, if there's a family in there that has kids, especially young kids, then they're looking at it as a liability. So it's not necessarily that it adds value to the property. It's really dependent on the audience or the potential buyers. So it could go either way. Okay, there's two questions. Have you ever had, or do you currently have, a pool in the backyard of one of your rental properties? And the second question is, are they able to request to get a pool added into the home right now? So the first question is, to answer it is no, none of my properties have pools in them. Second, if, if a tenant requested for a pool, that's, that's above and beyond. I wouldn't even consider it. The likelihood of that happening is really slim because pools cost a lot of money. Besides it being a liability to have a pool in your backyard, but why do you think it's a really bad idea, specifically for beginners? Why is it so important to steer away from it? I say it's just, just another liability and risk potential that you don't have want to worry about. It doesn't cost that much to fill in a pool, and in this case, it didn't cost a lot but you got to look at the risk reward factor and the risk is just far too great so especially on your first deal you just don't want to take that risk i just it doesn't even and i've got over 20 years of experience and i still won't put pools in my backyard i think that i'm gonna need more dirt i thought that i had too much dirt the important thing is gonna be watering like every couple of days oh okay That being said, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you have yet to see and I hope you stick along this journey to see the results of the house after the rehab process. 